Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm at the Ebuvale War Memorial. I know it just looks like a football field, but there is a memorial, over there near the road. That road being Brisbane Road in the Ipswich city suburb of Ebuvale. If you want to visit this memorial, Ebuvale Railway Station is just across the road, and there is a parking lot on the other side of the field. This memorial is a life-size digger statue on what I read described as a typical petri base. I'm not totally sure what that is to be honest, but I believe it relates to the manufacturer, that being Mr. A. L. Petri. For those non-Australians watching, a digger is the name Australia, and I think New Zealand, uses to refer to its soldiers. I'm not fully educated on the term, but I believe it relates to not only digging trenches, but Australians also being known for mining back when the term was coined anyway. This is something I might like to read about later, but I don't suppose it's really the subject of this video. This little memorial park, which seems pretty neat and cared for, has obviously the main memorial. There's also a covered picnic bench, which a nice old couple showed up and made use of as I was leaving, and a garden which has some plaques, but we'll look at those in a minute. This memorial was unveiled on the 11th of May 1918, though it was originally located near the entrance of the railway station over the road. It was relocated in 1972. At some point after that, it was vandalised beyond repair, which is disgusting, obviously. A new digger had to be carved and it's been here ever since. I do kind of wonder what the old one looked like. I think the new one looks great. As you can hopefully see, the main dedication reads, erected by the residents of Ebuvale to show their appreciation to our gallant soldiers on their return, and to honour those who fell. There are 22 names listed here, three of which have a K beside their name, indicating that they were killed. Let's have a minute of silence in remembrance of these people. Let's have a look at those plaques in the garden. I did forget to take still images of these, so they might be a bit hard to read. The first one tells us that the monument was originally placed on land donated by the Commissioner for Railways, close to Ebuvale Station, and that it was moved to its current location in September 1972. The second plaque on a small stone commemorates the rededication of the Ebuvale digger on the 29th of March 2009 and mentions that the original was desecrated in 2007. The quote at the bottom reads, The price of liberty is eternal vigilance. This is as true today as it has ever been. The second small plaque commemorates the restoration of the Ebuvale Memorial on the 18th of October 2003, which I suppose is not related to the vandalism the previous plaque told of, but perhaps just a clean-up or something like that, I'm not sure. These plaques may not be as important as the ones on the memorial itself, but they do give us a bit of history of this place and I thought that was kind of cool. I hope you found this interesting, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you've not done so already, why not subscribe, follow, ring the bell, become a patron or YouTube member, or maybe just come say hi on Discord or Twitch. Links to all of my things are in the description below, and as always, I shall return soon, so until then, be excellent to each other, and thank you for watching. Farewell.